Hello, welcome to Keysy Unlocked, where we explain the ins and outs of access control and show you how to get the most out of your Keysy system. My name is Lawrence, and today we will talk about proximity readers and how you can make the most out of them with Keysy. Proximity readers, such as the frequently used HID multi-class series, are contactless devices that read a card's data to grant or deny access to a user. They are connected to a central hub called the Access Control Panel and can read formats like RFID, Bluetooth, and NFC. Unlike other readers, such as swipe readers, proximity readers offer a contactless method of authentication, as they do not require physical contact or specific user actions. While they offer basic functionality, they lack more advanced features. This is where Kisi can help you future-proof your system. With Kisi, don't worry about replacing existing readers because the Wigan board allows for easy integration within the Kisi system. To learn more about the Wigan board, watch the Wigan board episode of Kisi Unlocked. By connecting these readers to the Kisi system, you can improve the security and future functionality of these readers. Integrating a proximity reader with Kisi unlocks access to the cloud and the advantages that come with it. You will be able to remotely unlock through the mobile app, create unlock and access schedules, and monitor activity with real-time analytics. Additionally, you can continue using legacy credentials which are proximity readers, giving extra flexibility to unlock methods. Whether it's for a small office or a large multi-tenant building, KC enhances legacy systems and proximity readers for increased security. Proximity readers are cost efficient in comparison to more expensive solutions like internet connected IP readers. They are a convenient and user friendly solution as users simply need to bring the proximity card or key fob close to the reader. They also are universally compatible with many access control systems, including KCs. First, I'll explain how to physically connect a proximity reader to a Kisi Controller Pro 2 with a Wigan board installed. In this example, I'm using the HID multi-class reader. Begin by unplugging power to the controller prior to wiring. Make sure to read the data sheet on the proximity reader and take note of what wire color corresponds to data line 0, data line 1, positive voltage, and ground. Then, on the Kisi Controller Pro 2, locate the four Wigan device interfaces and select one free interface. Wire the D0 port on the Wigan board to the D0 wire on the proximity reader. To connect the wire, push down on the green notch button, insert the wire in the hole left of the button, and release the button. Wire the D1 port on the Wigan board to the D1 port on the proximity reader. Wire the positive port on the Wigan board. Finally, toggle the switch on the Wigan board to reader mode. After plugging the Kisi Controller Pro 2 to power, you should now be able to see the Wigan board on the web dashboard. Now, let's talk about setting up the proximity reader on the Kisi web dashboard. Go to web.kisi.io. Click on Places and select your place. Click on Hardware, Controllers, and select your controller. Scroll down and select the Wigan channel that corresponds to the proximity reader. Click on Type and select Legacy Reader. Click on Search Doors or Elevators and select the door to unlock with the proximity reader. Click Save. Finally, I'll show you how to assign a legacy credential to this reader. Go to web.kisi.io. Click on Credentials, Add Credentials, Single Credential. Click on At Reader. Click on Search Place and select your place. Click on Search Door and select the door the proximity reader is connected to. Click on Card Type and select which type your credential is. If you do not know, click Unknown. Bring the credential to the proximity reader and wait for the web dashboard to finish searching for the scanned credential. Click on Assign to User and type the email of the user who will use this. 
Click Assign to finish assigning the credential. Click Activate. Now, repeat this process for the rest of your credentials. You can also bulk import your credentials with the custom CSV file. Thanks for watching. Check out the description below for more resources. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. Subscribe to this channel to stay updated on the latest in access control and physical security.